This week's video is a story about grain and how to get rid of it in four parts. Sets, lighting, camera settings, and editing. Let's jump right in and start out with sets. The colors in your shot are crucial. Lighter colors have a tendency to be less grainy, so it's good to shoot in location with light colors, use a light background, and wear light colored clothing if you want to avoid grain. Now, between the three channels of color, red, green, and blue, blue is the grainiest one. So it's also good to avoid very deep, dark blue colors. And we'll be talking about blue and how it can contribute to grain later in this video in the editing section. All right, let's move on to lighting. The basic idea is that more light means less grain. So you should maximize light in your shot. The best way to do this is by shooting near a window. So let me open my phone camera and show you the shot that I have going on right now. We can see I've got my camera here, script, microphone, and there's a light next to me as well to light up this dark background right here but my key light is a window. Another tip to add light to your shot is to flip umbrellas around to where the curved part of the umbrella is facing away from the area that you want to be lit. That way more light is reflected onto the subject. When you're setting up your shot, make sure to look into your camera LCD and observe the darkest, grainiest parts of your image and add light accordingly. For example, I saw that the grainiest parts of this shot before I started shooting where this little hallway back behind me, my desk with my black PC on it, and the little spot under my bed that falls into shadow. So I added light to those areas. The single best tip that I can possibly give you to avoid grain when it comes to lighting is just to shoot outside. But not all outside locations work because of background noise with birds and you might be next to a road and wind. There are a lot of problems that can result for your audio when you're shooting outside. For example, I can't film in my backyard because while the audio is very good, there are birds everywhere and it's right next to a road. So before you start shooting outside, make sure that you think about the sounds that you can hear in that particular location. I learned that the hard way. But the sun is the brightest light, period. With sunlight, you get hardly any grain. So shooting outside is great for avoiding grain. Next, let's talk about our camera settings. The goal with your camera settings to avoid grain is to have the lowest ISO possible. ISO is basically artificial brightness added to your image. When your shot is too dark, ISO is added which introduces grain into the image while making it brighter. The wider your aperture is and the longer your shutter speed is, the lower your ISO will be. I would recommend the widest aperture that your lens will let you use and a shutter speed of double your... frame rate. Double your frame rate. So if you're shooting 24 frames per second, shutter speed of 1 50th of a second, 30 frames per second, 1 60th, you get the point. Also, shooting in a higher resolution, while it will not reduce grain, can lead to smaller grain. 4K images have finer little particles of grain than 720p or HD images do, so the grain is slightly less noticeable and looks cleaner and more film-like. Finally, let's talk about editing. Now, I will not be covering denoisal in this video. Instead, this is just going to be how to edit grainy footage without making it worse. In post, there are a few ways that you can reduce grain and a ton of ways that you can add grain. Always keep in mind that adding saturation adds grain. So if you have a grainy shot, I would recommend not touching the saturation bar at all. If you remember from earlier, blue is the grainiest color in your image. So I would recommend basically never saturating blue. Even in a nice outdoor shot where you want a good saturated sky, saturating the blue channel can still lead to grain. One thing I've also noticed is that black and white images show a lot more grain than the colored versions of those images. Finally, there is one little sneaky trick that you can use to sometimes reduce the grain in your shot. 
That is by brightening the darkest parts of the image and then adding the contrast back in by darkening the not quite as dark parts of the image. Basically, the shadows are becoming darker, but the darkest shadows are becoming brighter. So you're kind of washing out the shadow parts of the image. It's a sneaky little trick, but I use it on just about every single shot. So there you go. How to reduce or avoid I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did and you're not already a part of this community, make sure to subscribe because I make new videos like this every week and random vlogs on Wednesdays, two videos a week, filmmaking videos on Saturdays. Keep creating awesome things, share this video with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.